You may just be a corkless fanboy, but you tried to save that kid. You acted like a hero. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta stop crying so much if you want my quirk. Come on, kid. So far, I have talked a lot about why Boku no Hero is good, at least to me. It is a shonen anime with a strong start, interesting and admirable characters, explores the concept of being a hero, and it is all brought to life with great visuals and sound, along with some of the best examples of how to do fights in all of anime. Though as impressive as all these aspects may be, both on their own and combined together, they are not what makes this show my personal favorite. No, the reason I truly love this show so much is the emotional impact it has on me. Everything else is a stepping stone, a necessary prerequisite for the show to delve into my heart and fill me with emotions that bring me to tears on multiple occasions. I have seen my share of emotional anime over the years. Clan Ad, Angel Beats, and even things like World End or Naruto all had their moments of hitting me with the emotional baseball bat of emotion, but I do not think a show ever has like My Hero Academia. It capitalizes on the two types of emotions that anime often seek to evoke, and that is the hype and the feels. Well-defined terms, I know, but hey, it's my channel, so I can reinvent words in whatever way I want. Hype is a thrilling emotion, the excitement that pulls you and it keeps making you want to see and feel more is that feeling that makes you keep wanting to watch the next episode despite being six in the morning and you really should have gone to bed at midnight but you just have to keep going or those moments in battles where each side keeps one upping itself and gets more and more exciting until you realize you're halfway laying off your couch and yelling about why the next episode isn't out yet the battles in this show do an amazing job at conveying hype for many of the reasons I talked about before. There's a lot of back and forth here between each of the fighters trying new techniques, trying to adapt to the other's actions. The viewer feels a roller coaster of hope, doubt, fear, desperation, and a spell that changes from second to second. Hype is like rapid fire punches. Before you can get comfortable with one, it hits you with another. And the longer battles are really able to bring this feeling out since there are so many different back and forth actions. And then there are the feels. This is the sadness that a show makes you experience when you see a character suffering, losing, finding out they can never reach other goals, or even when they die. These emotional punches often feel stronger and more piercing, and these are the type of feelings that take longer to fade away. If hype is rapid fire punches, then the feels are like full strength smashes to the gut. And like hype, Boku no Hero most powerfully accomplishes this through the battles. The fight with Uraraka and Bakugo probably being the best example and the one I just rewatched, so it is a good one for me to talk about here. Instead of the back and forth that the other fights focus on, it was very one-sided, but the show really built up Uraraka before the fight so that they could draw the viewer in, give the viewer hope that maybe she could pull this off. But then she was crushed. And because of the connection made throughout the story, seeing her plans defeated really did have an impact, or at least it did on me. And then the next couple scenes just really cemented her despair at losing. Of course, it is not just the battles that can affect the feels this way. Back in episode 1, seeing Deku not being able to develop a quirk had the same type of effect, his dreams of being a great hero taken from them, just like they were for Uraraka here. And even if these were only temporary setbacks, they still felt monumental at the time for the characters, and so the emotions were felt this way for the viewer as well. But the feels can also be joy, and for me, this is a more powerful feeling. What sold me on the show back in episode 2 wasn't any of the aspects I talked about so far with the character development or coolness of all might or even any of the ideas about becoming a hero. It was that the show forged the connection between me and Deku so much that when all might told him that he could be a hero, I felt the same flurry of emotions and joy that Deku felt. And like all the other emotions, this was felt with the battles. Taking the final exam battle between Deku and Bakugo against All Might for my example here, there's just so much felt at seeing Deku overcome the challenge to fight All Might. We see early on here how Deku and Bakugo just can't work together and that Deku is scared to actually face All Might. But then they have an attack that actually succeeds at slowing All Might down and this was a really strong moment and gave me hope that yes, they can do this. And then you also have the moment where Bakugo decided I'm going to go all out here and let Deku escape. There's so much joy seeing them actually being able to work together even if it is difficult for them. 
Though the moment that really did it for me was when Deku ran back to save Bakugo and smashed All Might in the face. I know that this isn't exactly the right topic for the video, but one of the other things I love about the battles is how much they are able to represent. This was the moment of Deku striving to surpass All Might and overcome him to take his spot as a hero who saves everyone, even if this was only for a brief time. And it was an incredible feeling to see and to experience along with Deku. You could also feel the pride that All Might took in Deku in this moment when he was attacked. The show's ability to form the connections between the viewer and Deku made it so we felt these feelings with every time Deku had an accomplishment or every victory he earned over those who said that he never would be able to. Or again, the battle with Nomi has seen All Might just sending him flying. There's just a feeling of joyous triumph there. The battles are good because of their technical aspects and all the things that I mentioned before, but they are amazing because of the way these aspects come together to form an emotional punch straight into the heart. I will admit that this is a very personal reason that I like the show, and that the reason the emotions are so strong is because I am the one watching it, so you may not feel the same way. But there is a reason why these videos are called why I love Boku no Hero, not why it is the greatest anime ever for everyone. My goal with these videos is for you to understand why I like it so much and maybe come to appreciate it in some new ways as well, not for you to agree with me on why it's a masterpiece. Emotional impact is something that will vary from one person to the other, but it is the thing that takes an anime from just being good to amazing for me. And, well, after the impact it had and continues to have on me, it would be wrong of me not to praise it so much. But not every show is able to deliver it in the same way as Boku no Hero. So next time, I will talk about some other shows and why I don't feel that they live up to what Boku no Hero has accomplished. So, I hope you'll join me then.